Many of them got their heads chopped off. Others had the legs hacked off first, then an arm or something, and then maybe their face, which was probably still screaming as it flew across the hut or wherever they lived. Then the invaders might have taken the carcasses and hacked them up and boiled them into soup and carved all the discarded pelvis bones into big ladles to drink it with and then sat around the fireplace slurping their gory soup and laughing and blowing off. Honestly, it was seriously out of order. How much blood, in terms of pints, was spilt because of Genghis Khan? Well, you'd have to somehow know the number of people killed. Right. There were stories of um, a few hundred Mongol soldiers dispatching perhaps a, a, a up to a million people. How many pints are in a person? I think eight. So minimum eight million pints? Yes. And, of course, they didn't have blood banks back then, did they? What a waste. 